All right. A little late starting, but here we are. Today is going to be the the grindy episode as we need to grind for some death blows uh, I want to go back to Nortune for a sec before we begin get some things prepared so Go back to D block. You mentioned something about a bar. Is that a bar in D block or is that a bar in A block? Because when he mentioned this bar, I was like, you'll notice someone that you've never seen there before. Be a bar in in a block. At least that gives me a free heal spot. We'll go back to A block and see what we can find. shop. I'm looking for... Well, unless the shop has equipment for Ellie. I already got 20 of those. jacket, because I can give that back to Faye. Metal helm. You know what? It doesn't hurt to have one of everything. 
Sleep Guard, Brain Guard, and a Guardian Ring. It literally doesn't hurt to have one of everything. Alright. So, plus four attack for Ellie, which is great. Bay can have his metal jacket back. Plus four. Can she wear the metal helmet? Oh, she can. Okay, yeah. That's plus a pen. White Beret really does nothing else. The metal helmet is just better overall. Metal jacket, metal helmet. I might need another metal helmet for Saiten. Oh, that's only plus four. Eh. If he's only going to get a plus four from it, then never mind. Oh, the white beret is uh, Ellie only? Or is it a female only? Yeah, but it does nothing else. Like, the metal helmet is just better for her. Maybe there's certain uh, female characters that can't wear the metal helmet. But Ellie is not one of them. Yeah, that'll be fine. That does give me some upgrades for Ellie. She's the only one with a weapon right now. Good afternoon. Welcome to the Wildcat. It must be tough traveling in such a big group. Would you like to change your organization? I'm not used to this. Um, would you like change members? Change party. Thank you. W well then, Master, please handle it. Yeah, that's how you do it. Good. No, Faye has to come with. Okay. That's fine. I can swap sight and out. Bay uh, can heal. So Rico is doing his triangle, triangle, triangle X. Same with Ellie. They both need to do triangle, triangle, triangle X. Okay. Oops.
And off we go. All right, let's get let's get them death blows, and maybe uh, I don't know if Ellie's gonna learn some new spells or not. I think there's some hobgoblins out here. The where are you? Do you counterattack? Six is bird on us. All I need to do is just have Fade defend. He's only there for heals. The bird heals. See, Rico can actually out out damage it, out damage its heal if he can get all his attacks in. She needs a lot of healing, even though I just gave her some armor. Yeah, ready to go, Rika. You did it. Dragonfest learned. So he's now going to do gonna do triangle square X now. She's still trying to do double jump. So he's triangle square X. She's triangle triangle. Triangle 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 X. Those are the things I got to remember. Speed up. But let's see what this dragon fist does. Damn. 
Bam! Yeah, his speed up is working. Rico is still out damaging him, though. For some reason, the Rhino just does not like Ellie. The Rhino itself doesn't like Ellie. The bird doesn't like Faye. That would have been funny if it actually killed it. What? No new... No, we didn't get a new move for that? I mean, I know Rico probably wouldn't have gotten a new move, but... Ellie should have been real close. Nope. Nope, not at all. 84. But she's starting to learn Sky Attack as well. His Pile Crusher is getting there. Uh, actually, they're getting, they're getting their death blows faster than I thought. I thought this was going to take hours, but they're literally getting them faster than I thought. That's actually going to hurt Rico a lot. Inner healing on Rico. Rico. Six? Oh, yeah. They're gonna heal the damage off of her. It heals both of them. Well, you're dead. 
I thought it was gonna be something that uh, they would heal, like, the one that's using it, it would heal all its other friends, and not itself. But no, it heals itself. It is a water attack on all. You had something on your gear, didn't you, that I wanted? This. I want to give this to Ellie. Yeah. Give the HP 30 to Ellie and the HP 10 to Steer. Or to Rico. Because Rico, he has the most health. So, 10% of 58, he's going to get the most out of that. You have 50, don't you? I should give the 30 to Welltall and the 50 to Beerge. This Veerage has the most fuel. Has the most fuel and the most... That sucks. It's easy to defense the same as well tall. That is the better option. Well, Rico's got 96 of both Firebomb and Pile Crusher. And Ellie has now is now starting to learn Bright Spark and Sting Kick. They're almost finished. She's almost finished with double shock. Double shock. Heal Rico. And Ellie too, why not? Alright, what's next? Birds! This is called the Pecking Duck, and it has a move called Pecking Duck. They knew what they're doing. Zero damage. Yeah, he ducked. Yeah. 
even Ellie does 68 damage to them, and she didn't even hit all of her attacks. Forty-six, and I was worried from the doubt that. Seven ninety five. Funny that he's getting close to he's leveling up the two, even though I'm only using the one. I'm only using triangle square X. I'm not having him attack with square triangle X. That was the next one. means that we can beat you better. We can use more moves. Yeah, his speed up definitely helps him out. Move the heals about a hundred. This is one of those things where I need Rico to actually hit all his hit all his moves. Like each attack has to hit. There, the healing he's done has been nullified. Defense up. up or any any stat up stack at all. Pretty sure they don't. Oh, that was only 104. But then again, he blocked one. Way to go, Ellie. Yeah, did it. The downside to Faye as the healer is that he can't heal multiple party members. He can only heal one. Just firebomb. Yeah, so he knows his triangle square X, so next is square triangle X. And Ellie's next one is triangle square X. But we gotta we gotta use this firebomb and double shock. 
So, square triangle X and triangle square X. Once Rico is done, I'll switch back to having Titan in the party. Because having two healers is better, especially if one of them can heal everybody. Burbs. Look, we just got here? Like, could you not? Let's see your double shock. Damn, Ellie! Your fireball. I figured it would be something like that. Made Ellie's attack look like it was child's play. Ellie was so proud that she killed that thing on her own. And Rico's just like, watch this. Does double the damage of the Nelly. Out of curiosity, like... What's your, your guys' speed? Rico has 7 and Ellie has 9. And Ellie has a speed ring on. So her base speed is 8. Why is their speed equal? Why is she so slow? So, you should be doing triangle square X now. It says we're not doing this again. You jump up again, and I'm picking you out. You are doing square triangle X. I warned you, Mrs. I warned her. I warned her. Come here. All right, Miss, Mrs. Mister. But she ruined it for you. Blame your mother. Okay, like, it's one thing to, like, jump up on the on the table here, but the way she does it is she knows my focus is on the screen, and she blocks the screen, so I can't do anything. And the problem is, is if I were to, you know, give her attention when she's there... She's going to keep jumping up. It was like, hey, this is how I get attention, so I'm going to keep doing it. Yeah. Yeah. I leveled up. Oh, I didn't see. I should have actually looked to see what, what that gave her for stats. I just seen some plus ones, but I wasn't really paying attention to where it went. I know it went to like her attack and everything, but
One thing I want to look into. Still worth it, still worth it, fucking attacking me. We seriously just get there, they're just like, hey, we're gonna. We're gonna attack! What is. Yeah, I don't know, that didn't answer anything. I was trying to see what the weight system did. Because there is a weight system. Oh fuck, why did I not heal her? Sorry, Ellie. Hey, you got six, you got 69 health, nice. But no, like there is a weight system, and there's even areas where it's just like, you are your ideal weight. Whoops. Well, you're dead. But, uh, turns out that, like, it means nothing apart from changing certain dialogue, side dialogue stuff. Like, you look at a mirror and they'll tell you, you know, you're fat or something, or you're gaining weight. Some people, I think, are saying that the weight system actually affects agility, but that can't be right, because Ellie... Wait, Ellie's like weighs the le like is lighter right now. She weighs less than Faye, and Faye is way faster. Maybe she's maybe she's too heavy for her body type. Whereas Faye is like his ideal weight, so she, so he, uh, he can move much faster. I don't know. I never actually checked Ellie's weight yet to see how is it compared to everything else. Uh, everyone, well, just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna give, whoops, I'm gonna give Rico some healing. Rico, buddy. She still does one damage. This guy hasn't healed yet, so you did actually do some damage, but... Yeah. 
and he now heals. So, Rico, you need to get rid of that. There we go. Sadly, he only did 20 damage, but... And he healed him. He's actually running out of EP. Great, now we're back where we started. Because he managed to heal twice. This guy dead. Rico's got his pile pressure done. Oh, but he's not at the level to ride. Only Faeus is at the level to do Ryuji and do that one. Alright, so he needs to do XX, which he's almost finished. And she's still gonna do Triangle Square X. Well, yeah, she's still gonna do Triangle Square X. And her XX is almost finished? No. Well, 90. It's more than... Either way, Rico does XX and Ellie does Triangle Square X. But until they level up, they're not going to learn any new death blows. Doing 29 damage per rain attack on Rico. Problem. There we go. Keep keep hitting down to go down to Rico, but I gotta hit right. Or 
There's only two of them, so he can take 40 damage. Like, they're only doing one damage to Ellie and Faye. There's some big hits. Both, both, he missed both times. Rico's done. He done. He just needs to level up in order to get his uh, his two new moves. And Ellie is done with Shrink Kick. But she needs to learn Bright Spark, which is uh, which should be Square Triangle X. But I'm finished with Rico. Like he has learned all his moves. Or he will, as he levels up. So he's at level 34? Yeah. Once he gets to... Uh, once he gets to 40... If he gets to 40... Wait, no. I actually need to go in here. We need to rest. Get Faye his EP back. Then we can go and... Swap Rico out for Titan. Because Titan. I think he just needs another level up or two in order to get his next move. I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, I went the wrong way. I need to leave D block in order to get. Block, go into A block. This was the bar. Yes, hi.
Change party. Rico swap out or Titan. I don't know, I feel like... Overall, like, considering I, I like to use physical attacks, you would think that Rico would be the better one to have in my party, like, swap Ellie out and put in Rico. But there's gotta be... Like, Ellie's gotta have something. I forgot to check if Sight and learn anything. And you're doing your square triangle X. Your triangle square X. What is this sky attack? Two seventy four. Compared to like sight. Hold on. Compared to sight. That was two seventy four. He did three seventy eight. Also 378. I don't know. She even has a freaking speed ring on. Square triangle X. I guess you could say she has the, uh, Ether attacks. This is sixty six percent. Thermal cube a hundred percent. So, like, if we use Thermo Dragon, forty six total damage. Hold on, what? She failed? Steak, ooh. Well, who's a... I mean, maybe the hobgoblins aren't weak to fire, so there's that, but. Ah, 71. 
because they didn't really do make her do anything. Because the hob meat heals 150. The hob steak. 500. Wait, is that HP drive what I think it is? Increases maximum HP? Oh, hang on to it. I was about to give it to Ellie. But yes, she desperately needs it, but... My RPG... Uh, my RPG experience kicked in. And it was just like, hold on, what if you don't keep Ellie in the party? Then you just wasted an HP drive. Try Aquamist. Forty-eight. Sorry, I failed. Aqua Ice. 128. Like, at that point, for the single target damage, I'd rather she just attack. get it. I don't... I actually do not see the point of having Ellie in the party. If I'm being completely honest. Like, I thought maybe her ether attacks would make up for her lack of, like, power behind her actual attacks. Nope. Nope. Not at all. I mean, the only thing that she's really got is that her gear has more fuel. So she can she can enter a battle, go longer in a battle than anyone else. When it went into gear. Here. Woo! You know what? Everybody, bring your gear out. What's the rhino gonna do? What, what's, this, what's this rhino gonna do?
Okay, so she can still use, like, all her EPs and such while in her gear. Power output 107. Agility level 11. Is she much faster and stronger in her gear compared to everybody else? She's just got less health. I need to get her a new frame. But she's got way more fuel. So, like, you're a rhino. Aquas? Four fifty four fifty four. Sucks that his Saz Sazanami doesn't like it just restores gear defense. It doesn't rest it doesn't heal like I gotta give sight and uh, a frame H health thing. Okay, if you were to just full on attack, you missed. Way to go, sight. Nine hundred ninety nine splat. I don't know. She does do way more damage with her ether attacks when she's in her gear, but I don't see a point on having Ellie in the party. Like, what can Ellie do that Rico can't? Do I have something for you, like an extra armor? No. I was gonna say I could take the beam jammer off and give her um, the power magic that would increase the damage she does with her ether. It's like, what is, what is the benefit of having Ellie in the party? Face the main character, and you are and you're required to have him in your party throughout the game, except for portions where he freaks out and mysteriously bails. That said, you'll want him in your party because he tends to be the best or second best character.
He's said to be the best or second best character at any given point in the game. His spells aren't very good. You probably won't ever use them except for healing. But in terms of physical attack, he's strong and he's fast. Because you have him in your party all the time, he's likely ahead of your other party members in terms of unlocking his combos. And level. Ellie. Ellie is a decently strong party member on foot? What? She's physically weak, but her spells are decently powerful. Okay, she must learn better spells as she levels up. Unfortunately, she's only available sporadically throughout the game, so she's not very worthwhile to invest in. Her gear, Ver Verge, is very powerful due to its special ability, Air Rods, which will wreck the opposition, especially if you equip Ellie with an Ether Doubler and Power Magic Accessories. It is one of the most broken things you can do in the game. That's why you have Ellie. She's broken! Saiten tends to be the best character in the game at every point where Faye's not the best character in the game. On foot, he has absolutely ridiculous HP and keeps pace with Faye in terms of damage output. At certain points, he unlocks a sword and pulls ahead of everybody in terms of damage until the end of the game. He is he also is practically required for much of the game because he's the only available character with healing magic. Until we recruit uh, Billy, who is, I think, it's the gun guy. But you gotta also remember that Faye also has healing magic. His gear is not quite as ridiculous as Saiten is on foot, but it is incredibly strong, especially once it's upgraded from Heimdall to the sword-using Fenrir model. In a game where physical attacks and combos rule, Saiten has the best physical attack and the best combos, not to mention very high speed and extremely... So yeah, there's just no reason not to have Saiten in the party. No reason. He is just the best overall. And if he's not the best, Faye beats him out. Bart is a relatively mediocre character. His spells are not very useful. He tends to not be as strong or fast as Faye and Sighton, and he's overall just okay. He fulfills the same sort of niche for your party as Faye, but as I mentioned, he's not as strong or fast. Once you recruit more characters, you'll be hard-pressed to think of a reason to choose Bart over over other more useful characters like Bill, Billy and Emeralda. Poor Bart. All right, Rico, what about you? Riku, as you expect from looking at him, a strong, slow character of the group. In battle, he tends to not be great because, although he's strong, he's still not as strong as Saiten is with a sword, and he's significantly slower than everyone. Than everyone. No! He's just this, about the same speed as Ellie!
No, 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 it's... The best party is almost indisputably some combination of Faye, Saiten, Esmeralda, and Billy. They are light years ahead of every other party member in every conceivable category. <laughs> Attack, power, speed, utility, you name it. The other half of the cast can't match any of them in even a single area. Okay, cool. Good to know. In years... Um... When it comes to gears, they're all still useful. Let me check another one, another character guide first before... Oh no, this is going to have spoilers in it. That's the problem. I don't want spoilers. Basically, um, what I'm what I'm reading here is Ellie and Rico are useless. Bay and Saiten are going to be the most of my main power attackers. <laughs> I'm better off having uh, Ellie with me because she is slightly faster than Rico. And by slightly, I mean one point faster than Rico. Even with them, that's not including the speed ring. And she may get some powerful spells later on. Possibly. Because her spells right now don't seem to be that great. Also, it seems like they have a chance to miss? Or fail? Maybe that... Maybe as the game goes on, she gets better at them, but... A 66% per chance, percent chance to hit? I don't... Or to succeed? I don't know. 
You see, it would have been cool if she, like, had that thing where it's like, oh yeah, on foot, she's okay, but she shines, it really shines in a gear. But no, no. I guess in a gear, she would shine better when I, if I equip the gear properly. I'm thinking that if I was to, like, the characters that I'd want to actually focus time on, um, I have to have Faye, so he's in the party no matter what. I want Saiten, because he can be just as powerful as, as Faye. Fuck you. And then, if anything, probably when I get Billy. So, not only will I have three characters in the party that can heal... Because there, that's always an upside. Like, having all characters be able to heal. So I can always have it so that, like... Oh no, we need a healing. Who's better at it right now? And who should I have attack? And who should I have healing? Instead of, like, this party... Where, in this party, I'll be like, Sight, heal. Get Faye, and the Faye will be attacking. Ellie will always be attacking. But there'll be times where it's just like, no, no, I want Sight to, to heal. Wait, Sight, here's a question. If you use Ranky twice... Science time! No, Renki's only on yourself. Alright. Because it's a ne next ether affects all. So it's like, okay, what if you use... Like, Renki twice. Because I was kind of hoping that it would, uh... Also do all. So that... Vayne's next ether would affect all. And, um, Ellie's next ether would affect all. So that I'd be able to have her use, like for single target spells and they would hit everything and they'd be 100%. That would have been a nice combo, but that was not the case. That only affects him. with Faye, even though he's one stat, like, one death blow below him. gonna be able to use it. Right? She's not gonna be able to use it until she gets to, like, 
level 40, which is seven levels away. No, wait, I think it was level 38 that Faye learned his. Good job, Ellie. Welcome to the team. You guys defend yourself. He's healing what, 69? She's doing like, she can do 72. She is doing more damage. That's if she gets her hits off. 68. She did two damage. Health is not going up, it's going down. Uh oh, not this time. He did 44. He's gonna fully heal that one and get 20 some HP back. Way to go, Ellie. You almost had it. Downside to Rico, because Rico, yeah, his health compared to like Saiten and Faze, pretty comparable. It matches up. There, he gets over 300 as well. Um, but the moment he gets hit by an Ether attack, it completely wrecks him, and that HP doesn't matter. Ellie, on the other hand, um, like, she can withstand ether attacks. But any physical attack is just going to wreck her. Which is why I buffed her. Hey, she did it! Why I buffed her, like, defense as much as possible. Way to go, Ellie. You did it. You killed one. So how close do you to oh real close like you almost got her like one or one more battle and you'll have her man I was gonna go exploring and his left border is too dangerous yada yada let's go see if there's any like caves I should be aware about
did it, but... I'm gonna still have her use her move a few more times. Water attack on all. You know what, Ellie? I'm curious. What if you did a water attack on him? Will that heal him? Yes! Okay. You did 124 and you healed him. I figured, because he was doing a water attack on himself, but I had to do the science. Now, if the water attack was healing him, what if we did a thunder attack? 267. That's... I think she actually does more damage with that than she did with her physical attack. That wasn't bad. And she's done. Okay, cool. So everybody's finished with their death blows. They just need to level up and get the death blows. Um, and actually learn them. So, as far as death blows are concerned, Faye, you're still going to be doing square triangle X. Saiten is still on triangle square X, and Ellie also on triangle square X. Sky attack. 255? Yeah, I'm pretty sure your ether attack did. Hold on. We're gonna go heal anyway, so. Lightning. How much damage does that do again? 268. It's slightly better. Slightly, but it's on it's on equal par. Equal footing there. I guess I should have mentioned in the, at the beginning of the stream that like if you're watching this on YouTube, you could totally skip this video. You could have totally skipped it. 100%. Wasn't really doing anything exciting. Wasn't really doing anything involving the story. I was just grinding for death blows. So, yeah. So that's it. That's all I'm gonna do. I gotta go get some dinner. I'm hungry. I was actually late starting this up. But I knew that I was uh, just gonna be grinding. And nothing else. So I was okay with starting late. Again, I figured it would take all two hours to get that. It was an hour and a half. But everybody now has their... I mean, I think there's still some more death blows that can be unlocked. But, for now, everybody has all their death blows. They just need to level up. And get them. Which Saiten, I think, has three more levels, and Faye or Ellie has five before that happens. <laughs> so far, I've been 25 hours into the game. Look at that. Alright. Again, that is going to be it. Just a nice short stream. Really short stream. Probably my shortest. One hour and 30 minutes. 
but tomorrow if I end it that yeah no I can stream tomorrow I should be able to stream tomorrow and I'll be able to continue the story and actually keep going I know I got some things to do but it depends on what time we'll see it depends on when I finish everything Expect no stream. <laughs> yeah, expect no stream or no episode up. That's what I'm going to say. And then Friday... No, not Friday. Thursday. It's my Friday, so that's why I said Friday. But on Thursday, I work at night. So I'll most likely... If I wake up on time, I'll most likely be streaming during the morning. And that will be more Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And then on Friday, I am not streaming at all because I am on vacation from my job and I'm heading to an anime and video game convention on Friday. So, yeah. <laughs> Should be great. But I'm going to head out. I'm going to get some dinner. You all have a wonderful rest of your night or day. If you were hanging out and lurking in the background, thank you so much. If you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to subscribe. And, uh, I think that's gonna be it. I was never good at endings. Or beginnings. I mean, one of these days I should just, you know, just play, just, just ramble on and on and on, and just automatically...